We often joke that Ray Ferraro and Cami Granado's two boys, Riley and Reese, won the sports genetics lottery. Ray scored 408 NHL goals. Cami is in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Riley and Reese, by the way, are soccer players. Well, Canada's Liam Foody also had two incredibly gifted parents, and the quality they passed on to him, apparently, pure speed. Kempkin in there as well. Chance for Foody has a lead. If you've seen Liam Foody play hockey, you know he's fast. Now here Foody on the fly again, trying to go wide. Foody! His first three strides are nuts. We do races in practice, and uh, he'll be like five steps ahead of guys right off the bat, and I just don't know how he does it, really. He's one of the fastest guys I've ever seen. But you may not know Foodie is fast off the ice, too, like maybe potentially Olympic fast if hockey hadn't gotten in the way. Speed is in Foodie's DNA, as is success. His father, Sean, was a collegiate track star and Grey Cup champion, and his mother, France, an Olympic silver medalist. They just knew, we just talked about it. It was just like normal in the house and showing them the medals and the pictures and I don't think he thinks like that was special. He just think it was normal. I remember when we were young, they had a party once, and like Ben Johnson was at the house, and I was like, man, like, I, I know this guy. Like, you always see this guy on TV, you heard stories about him. France won her medal at the 1984 Games in Los Angeles when she was just 17. And before Sean played six seasons in the CFL, he was a nationally ranked track athlete where he specialized in hurdles. Liam was a hurdler like his dad and good enough to set a provincial record in grade nine. Look at that, Liam Foudy, sub 40. I was his hurdle coach when he had some of his success and I'm embarrassed to say that I didn't have much to do with it because we barely got the chance to practice. In fact, when he ran the first round as the defending officer champion from midget, he was like still in the slow section because he didn't have a seed time. He hadn't run a race yet. Everyone else had been running races all spring. He's got hockey to worry about and so he hadn't been even running. The next year in grade 10, he did it again. Everything happened perfectly, hit my steps right, every hurdle went over smoothly, and that's a rare thing to get. Usually in hurdles, it can get, it can get pretty messy, and um, everything went right perfectly, and in the end, it was a pretty wicked time. I knew deep down he didn't like running track. It was painful, and he knew that was probably his last race. So I just was just special. I kind of knew the dream was over for me. So mom, the dream is over. Move on. <laughs> My mom really wanted me to run track. That's just her thing. I ended up getting drafted by London in the first round, and that kind of like solidified it. I'm like, I'm going to be a hockey player. Like this, is what I always liked hockey a lot more, but I wasn't sure if it was the right thing for me. And then as soon as I got drafted, I'm like, okay, this is what I want. This is what I want to do. Look out, here comes Liam Foody shorthanded. Can he find a lane? Can he find an angle? Foody on the breakaway, one-handed, scores! Foody won't race in the Olympics, but his speed is a weapon on the ice, and so is his experience as a hurdler. I think he appreciates what it gave him and the, the mental toughness it gave him. I don't think there's, there's anything tougher than getting into those blocks by yourself and knowing the pain's coming. And you know, the guns are gonna go off in a minute and it's gonna, if you lose, it's all on you. No blame in the goalie, no blame in the coach. It's just you lost. He's definitely a horse that needs to run. The more he's out there, the more his edge on the other athlete seems to go. Overtime, stuff like that, that's his time, you know, where he has his track and field edge.